Are you telling me that there are like three more versions of this film somewhere, somewhere on the hard drive that no one had seen apart from the crew? I guess so, yeah. There, it was exciting in a different way because it was completely different to, it wasn't like going into a normal filming experience because it was one take. I wanted to cry sometimes because of how good it was and not at places where you're supposed to cry mm. because it's a sad moment yeah. just because i was watching some scenes i was like it's so good that i want to cry and then sent it off and i remember thinking that, that was a really terrible take yeah i'm like honestly like and i'm not just saying this but i did tell people i was like i did a really awful take mm. how did you get to boiling point well I guess just the normal way. I mean, um, my agent sent me the self-tape through. I feel like everyone I knew at the time mm -hmm. had that same self-tape. I think one of my best friends had it, um, but she was going for a different character, I think. Um, and the the thing, it was not a normal self-tape because there was not a scene that you had to do. Mm -hmm. um, and the brief was to tell a story to the camera um, of either a really, really good or really, really bad restaurant experience mm. um, while you're making a cup of tea. Interesting. So that was the self-tape. And at the time, I don't think, maybe I just didn't go to restaurants that much. I don't know, but I had no stories. So I was like, I asked people mm -hmm. like what they had. And I think I even, I'm not 100% sure because I can't even remember the story now, but I think I used a story from Demi <laughs> that she sent me um, as my story mm -hmm. because I didn't have any. I didn't yeah. have any like weird, I don't, I didn't, I guess, go out to restaurants that much. I didn't have any, Ma yeah. major experiences. Mm -hmm. I wish I remember what the story was now. Maybe I'll ask Demi because I'm sure it was her that I, I used her on. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, so I sent the tape and I did it while I was making a cup of tea. I mm -hmm. did it in my brother's room and brought the kettle up um, and then sent it off. And I remember thinking that, that was a really terrible tape. Yeah. I'm like, honestly, like, and I'm not just saying this, but I did tell people, I was like, I did a really awful take. Mm. Um, I don't want to watch it again. I'm never hearing from that again. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Um, well, I did hear back mm -hmm. and they wanted me for a recall. And I was like, why? That's weird. <laughs> why? Because that was bad. I'm sure of it. Mm. But I guess you just don't know. Like you can't be, I guess, completely objective mm -hmm. when, when you, um, when you're doing your own tapes. Um, and then I went in for the recall um, and that was when I went into the room and I like met the people and I felt like I was very much in line with like what they wanted for the character. Yeah. So after the recall, I felt like, oh no, maybe I do have a chance of getting this because I just feel like, it was kind of like the same as Hannah where it just felt like um, it was very much like, I know I'm in this niche of mm -hmm. what they want. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought maybe there was a good chance. Like mm -hmm. it felt like it went well, like I, you know, the people were super nice. Yeah. Um, and I just felt like I knew what they wanted from the character, mm -hmm. uh, which you don't a lot. Like I feel like I do a lot of auditions and I feel a bit like, I don't, you know, I just don't know what you want or like I'm doing something and they, yeah. I'm I'm like, oh, you want something completely different that mm. I cannot give you. Yeah. And then, yeah, got the call, booked the job, mm. really exciting. Also kind of, not nerve wracking, but like, there, it was exciting in a different way because it was completely different to, it wasn't like going into a normal filming experience because it was a one take. That's what, what I wanted to talk to you about because uh, if you haven't seen Boiling Point, uh, there is, First of all, there's feature film, the first one, and then mm -hmm. there's also series. Series mm -hmm. are not much. <laughs> no. And there's uh, also a short film that came before the feature oh, really? film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was like, they did the short film with As Stephen Graham. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know if they even were going for proof of concept. Mm -hmm. It was more like, um, I think Phil, the director, wanted mm -hmm. to, to make a short because he wanted mm -hmm. to get into directing he'd done mm -hmm. one short and then i think he needed to like get an agent mm -hmm. or something so mm -hmm. he was like um oh, i'm gonna make this other short mm -hmm. um i don't know if they planned to do it into a feature mm -hmm. at that point but they 
did it and Stephen was in it and it was like 20 minutes I think and then it did really well in mm-hmm. festivals yeah. and that's how it then developed into this feature mm. um, and yeah so it was completely different like nothing that I had ever experienced before um, uh, going into a set um, how first of all if you haven't seen it you go and see it because it's like and here is my experience i have to <laughs> have to confess mm. i knew that we will do a podcast with you for probably already like a month yeah. or so yeah. and i still haven't watched it <laughs> until yesterday uh because i was busy i was doing of other course. things I was, but the thing is like i was i wanted to watch it a long time ago mm. And I still haven't got to it until yesterday. And yesterday I watched it, like the, the actual film mm-hmm. and the one and a half or almost two episodes of the uh, show. And they, so then I I fell asleep. Yeah. Because fair. it was like around 3 a.m. Yeah. I had to get up at 6.30. You got to sleep, you know. Uh, and I was watching a film yesterday. And I'm not trying to, you know, blow smoke, <laughs> smoke up your ass or whatever. I honestly... <laughs> I wanted to cry sometimes because of how good it was and not at places where you're supposed to cry because it's a sad moment yeah. just because I was watching some scenes I was like it's so good that I want to cry Oh, honestly because I think it's it's amazing it is good film, uh, good film. how did you because it was a real one shot or there were like some some no, like, real one so shot. it's a film like whole film like one and a half hour long I think yeah, it's like it's not too long watch it and it's great and it's one shot basically camera follows characters all the time yeah how long did you rehearse it i think if i remember correctly we had two weeks where different sections of us i think we were all there for both of the weeks or maybe it was the front of house staff room for the two weeks in the kitchen were in one week with us and then they did like training another week, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Um, But it was two weeks where we had to basically be in the restaurant that we were filming at Mm -hmm. every day Mm -hmm. um, uh, and rehearse it all, basically. And we'd do it in sort of like sections. So they'd break up the script and we'd focus on this section with these characters Mm -hmm. and the rest of us would just do whatever if we weren't doing rehearsals. And then once we've done all the sections, then we sort of started to like stitch them together mm-hmm. and start running it through fully. But yeah, it was about two weeks, I think. Mm-hmm. Like almost every day? Yeah, Monday yeah. to Friday, I'm pretty sure. How, and how, how long did it take it? Like every day? Like a full I think so, work? just a full, yeah. full working day, mm-hmm. of, as far as I can remember. Um, no, but like, it, yeah, it, it sounds, sounds about right because yeah. it's... It's it's a lot. Like mm. and there is a lot of logistics, a lot of lots of movement. Like how camera goes around. Exactly. Uh, I, I, I was, was curious about. about like about the lighting. Was there any additional lighting where like some people go like running around with the lights, or it was just all kind of light from from the actual restaurant? I actually can't remember. I think it was all lights from the actual restaurant. Mm-hmm. But I can't remember. Mm-hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, because you know, like when when people shoot a scene and you shoot like from different angles, yeah. like and yeah. f- for every angle, like the lighting changes all the yeah, time. Like yeah, there's yeah. for one person here, another there, and there are like few few people standing around yeah, you with like reflectors exactly. and everything. Yeah. And here, just like whole restaurant. But yeah, because I, I was watching, I, I was thinking like it looks like because it's darker than usual, yeah, film, of course, yeah. right? Because yeah. it's it's actual restaurant. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, it looked amazing. So two weeks. Yeah, yeah yeah and then so more kind of wild stuff happening around that time was we filmed this in march 2020 mm-hmm. i don't know if anyone can remember what happened at that stage in right <laughs> um <laughs> but basically we did our two weeks of rehearsal um there's murmurings of things going on but yeah. everything's fine there's a few signs up saying to wash your hands mm-hmm. um and we were supposed to do four days of filming and do two takes of the film per day so we'd end up with eight takes and then we'd choose the best one mm-hmm. um we so you you shot the same film few times well we <laughs> did we were meant to do it eight times yeah however because of the 
bad thing that yeah. happened. Yeah. Um, we only we had to shut down after two days. Yeah. So we did the first day. We did two takes. Then we did the second day, and I think going into it, it was kind of like we have to get it today mm -hmm. because every other production is shutting down. Mm -hmm. We have to shut down. So we have to get the film today. <laughs> um, luckily, we did two pretty good takes that mm -hmm. day. Um, mm -hmm. The film is the third take. Mm -hmm. um, and it was kind of, there was a bit of debate going on about whether it was going to be the third or the fourth take that was going to be the film because the actors, most of the actors anyway, wanted to take three, mm -hmm. which is the take that we got. Mm -hmm. Um, and most of the crew wanted to take four because there was less technical mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, at the end of the day, the energy just wasn't there as much acting wise in yeah. the fourth take um, because we like felt like we kind of smashed the third one and there was like it was really good energy mm -hmm. and so it was kind of hard to to do so that are, again are you telling me that there are like three more versions of this film somewhere somewhere on the hard drive that no one had seen apart from the crew i guess so yeah yeah that would be so interesting to mm. just like to watch it to compare mm. because honestly i'm it, like I don't know if you're saying crew said there were some mm. mistakes. Yeah. No one knows thing. about any mistakes. Exactly. Nobody. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. That obviously, I get that, you know, if you're, if you notice something that you want to change in your department, mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, like it's so mm -hmm. hard to mm -hmm. not like yeah. think about that. But, you know, most people won't I, I think about it. I was with the film. I yeah. just, I haven't, I haven't noticed any. And I mean, like, come on, most viewers, um, the audience doesn't look for mistakes no. unless they're critics. Critics, yeah. critics do. And yeah. Find that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but the audience, we just want to see the, the story. Yes. And we are willing to forget almost anything mm. unless it's really, really bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think it was that, that's that's a, like I had no idea. So there are like three more versions. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, that would be interesting. But uh, I'm pretty sure no one will ever see them. Probably not. Maybe, maybe they're already deleted. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wonder. <laughs>